welcome back. I hope you guys are staying safe and having fun with your family at home. Today we are going to be helping you guys make a take and make project and the theme today is Kwanzaa. Do any of you guys know what Kwanzaa is or do any of you guys celebrate Kwanzaa? So Kwanzaa is celebrated by many African Americans from December 26th to January 1st to celebrate their cultural heritage and their traditional values. Before we get started into our lesson today, we are going to be going over some vocab words and we're gonna be reading a book about, you guessed it, Kwanzaa. So our first vocab word today is unity. Does anybody know what the word unity means? Unity means the state of being united or joined together as a whole. Our next vocab word is celebration. Can anybody tell me what celebration means or give me an example? If you didn't get it, that's okay. I'm gonna tell you anyways. Celebration is usually to honor something. Like for an example, um, we are gonna be celebrating Kwanzaa. Our last vocab word is Kwanzaa. You guessed it. I just explained Kwanzaa, but can anybody tell me if they remember what the word Kwanzaa means? Hmm. Kwanzaa is celebrated by many African Americans from, from December 26th to January 1st to celebrate their culture, heritage, and their traditional values. My first Kwanzaa. Hooray, hooray! It's time to get ready for Kwanzaa. First, we get the Kinara. It is made of shiny wood. I put in seven candles, three red, one black, and three green. We light a candle every night to celebrate this special idea. Mommy brings the King Bombe, the unity cup. For each child, we place one ear of corn, called Mwindi, on the straw mat. My brother adds apples, yams, nuts, and squash. The fruits and vegetables, mazuro, remind us of the end of the harvest and the beginning of the planting season. Just like in Africa. Amuja means unity. On the first day of Kwanzaa, neighbors come to visit. We ask, Habari, Ghani? That means, what's the news? We laugh, and we talk, and we sing. We are friends and family. Koji cha kulia, which means self-determination. On the second day of Kwanzaa, I asked mommy to bring my hair in a fancy African way. It makes me feel really proud. Ojima, working together. On the third day of Kwanzaa, we plant flowers in the lot next door. We all work together to make our neighborhood pretty. How many candles do you guys think are lit right now? Ujamaa, helping our neighborhood grow. On the fourth day of Kwanzaa, we buy special food for our celebration. We like to shop in stores in our neighborhood to keep our businesses strong. Nia, purpose. On the fifth day of Kwanzaa, I dream of what I can be. Someday I will be an African dancer like my aunt Tasha. Kumba, creativity. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, my cousin and I paint a clay pot and weave some baskets. We will make our house beautiful. Imani, faith. On the seventh day of Kwanzaa, we light the last candle to show our faith in ourselves, our family, our future, and our past. At last, it's time for the feast. We call it Karumu. Friends come over. You read what's on Hi, little hogs. I'm Miss Echo. I'm Miss Allison. I'm Miss Zoe. And today we are going to learn all about Kwanzaa. So, Kwanzaa is all about unity and working together. So, to learn about it, we're going to make our own noodle um, necklace, and it's the colors of Kwanzaa. Okay, little hawk, so for today, the materials we're gonna be using, you're gonna need yarn, red, black, green, and yellow paint. You're also gonna need some 
pasta. You can use any pasta that you can put yarn through. So panini pasta or elbows. And if you don't have paint, you can also use marker. And you're gonna need some scissors, safety scissors. Okay, little lock. So for my necklace, I already painted my pasta. And now I'm gonna make my necklace. So first you're gonna need yarn. And then after your yarn's painted or colored, you're just gonna put it on your, through your yarn. Also, if it's hard to get your pasta through, you can put some tape on the end of your yarn to make it easier for your pasta to go through. Like this. Okay, so now I'm all finished with my necklace and the pattern I chose is red, um, black, yellow, and green. And there I have my Kwanzaa necklace. Okay, little hawks. So what traditions do you guys celebrate? And tradition and celebrate were vocab words. Do you guys remember what they mean? What did you learn about Kwanzaa? What holidays do you celebrate? Bye, little hawks.